I legitimately don't know why it kind of always looks like nighttime in my house, but it does. Anyway, um, I got my room switched around again. My poster wall is exactly the same. Everything's where it was, but everything kind of just got switched around, and so I'm going to show you around my new room. So now I have this like really large dresser of stuff. All my clothes and things are in there. This is where I have my shrine to video games and none other but Harry Potter. And then this is my other Harry Potter shrine. And then this is my shrine to books because I now have official bookshelves, which makes me feel awesome because it's like, ah, oh, something I've wanted forever. There's my laptop. There's a shirt that's signed. There's the other shirt that's signed. There's Mario on a lunchbox. Ooh. Awesome. Yeah, my beach shell does not normally live on my bed. But, that's my actual bedspread. And this is a really funky looking lamp. And my guitar. So, it's pretty much the same. Oh, and there's baby me. And more baby me. And this wintry picture that looks really pretty. So, yeah, that's my new room. Um, challenges and stuff. Oh, it only started now. Hi, so I've changed locations so that I could be with my book. And it now more looks like daytime because there's the window. A big scary looking thing where you can see the sign outside. Yeah, that's the window. And I have the blinds open while I'm vlogging. Oh, whatever. So, I have to make a newspaper hat and coat. I have to reenact a scene from Star Wars, which I really want to do, but can't. Because I don't have someone to film me quite yet. I'm working on it. Um, that's what that says. Oh, I have to talk about my favorite Harry Potter character. Well, my favorite Harry Potter character is Luna Lovegood, and I love her because she's such a free-spirited character, and she's just so abnormal that she's awesome. She is, like, ah, oh, so amazing, and she has such a unique view on the world and in the world that she lives in because she lives in the wizarding world, and she has such a unique view on it. And so I love... Luna love good, and I swear I do believe in oracles. Yeah, if you don't know that song, I'll have a link in the description. Yeah. Um. So newspaper hat and coat. I'll see you in a minute. Wearing it. Okay. So I will have a complete costume change in three, two, one. Ah. Ta-da! Um, so, yeah. I guess this is my attempt at a newspaper fez. I don't really know how it looks, so... And, Luciano, I really hope you don't mind that your coat kind of turned into a poncho. Because coats have sleeves, and I could not figure out how to do sleeves. I really don't know what's going on. So I've kind of realized something. I filmed my entire little vlog today without my glasses on. And it's kind of a little bit different for me because I'm so used to wearing them. Uh, but I don't think that matters too, too much. I like this hat. <laughs> Even if it's newspaper. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I needed to do today. And we're talking about our favorite movies. So, <laughs> so I love Harry Potter. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, <laughs> How to Deal is another... I love Toy Story and Toy Story 2 and Toy Story 3. That's actually my first cinema going uh, memory is for in Toy Story 2. It came out when I was six and which is funny because Finding Nemo came out when Emily was about six. So, and I love Finding Nemo as well. Um, so it's kind of funny that we have that little generation gap, don't we Emily? You little youngin, you. So, I'm gonna go before I get really sentimental, but I really do love Harry Potter, Finding Nemo, almost all Disney movies. I didn't like the frog princess thing that much, though. Um, so, that is all, folks. I hope you liked my newspaper hat and poncho. Oh, and I should also mention that the person saying hello to you this week is one of my awesome Nerdfighter friends, and she has a collab channel called Seven Awesome College Kids with six other awesome college kids and her. So you should definitely check that out. Link's in the, in the Land of Mordor.